So let's create an orbiting planet. Begin by clicking on the rectangle tool. Let's just choose a fill color of whatever color you wish, red. And if you hold shift, you can actually create a perfect square. Now if you really want to change the background color, you can just uh, use the selection tool. Right click the background, go to document properties. And you can even change the background color to black. And of course you can also change the dimensions as well. Click OK. So how do we make this spin? What I'm, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to right click this nice uh, red square and I'm going to convert to symbol. And it doesn't really matter what we name it here so I'm just going to click on OK. But before I do so, I'm going to make sure the registration point is in the center. Center registration point is important because that's going to uh, be spinning from the center. Click OK. So now this here is a movie clip, so I'm going to fly into the movie clip, clip by double clicking quickly. Double click, pow pow, and you can see the animation such that we're flying into the movie clip. So what we're going to do now is going to right click on frame 1, create classic tween, right click on frame uh, 30, insert keyframe, and then make sure you actually click on the uh, solid black dot on frame 1. When you click on it and then click on properties, you will see this uh, option called rotate. If you don't actually click on frame 1, you won't see rotate. So I'm going to rotate clockwise, CW, one time. So now as I scrub through these numbers here, I'm actually clicking on the numbers, not on the timeline, but actually on the numbers up here. I can scrub through and see that my square is rotating very nicely. Big deal, not very interesting. Let me try it one more time. I'm going to press Control Z to the point where we actually have this uh, nice uh, picture here. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to purposefully uh, use the arrow keys, or you can even click and drag it up if you wish, use the arrow keys to move it up. Why would I move it up from its center, its registration point? Why would I do that? We'll see shortly. So right click, we already created a classic tween. I'm going to right click and insert keyframe one more time. And I'm going to click on frame one, go to properties, let's rotate it clockwise one time. So okay, big deal, same kind of thing. But the fact that you actually moved it off the center, off this registration point will be very useful. So we click back on scene one to go back to see the big picture of things. And here, let me also create a classic tween on frame 60 a bit longer gonna insert a keyframe click on frame 1 go to properties and also rotate it clockwise one time what does that mean see it's actually rotating around that uh, registration point the fact that we put it off center makes the whole rotation rotate in a big arc so what happens is now when you press control enter is it actually creates both animations, combines both animations together which looks really much like a planet orbiting so if you had the time you could change the picture to be your face you could change this um, to be some kind of shield power up for some kind of spaceship you could change it to um, to be a, m many things and, and we have this, uh, it could be a ninja star so we have a very beautiful animation here and we're practicing the idea of rotations around the registration point. Excellent.